For those of you who don't know me, or if you've never been here before, welcome. My name's Rachel, and I'm the owner and creator here at the Eclectic Cottage in Spokane, Washington. Happy Friday, hope you've had a great week and are looking forward to something fun over the weekend. Uh, today I have a thrift haul for you. Uh, I think thrift haul is a little bit of a broad term. Uh, basically I have a few things that my husband and I found on a very short junk run last Sunday. We didn't have a lot of time, so we only got to stop at a couple of our, I think two of our favorite thrift stores. So I am going to show those items to you. I hope you do enjoy the video though, and if you do, please remember to give it a thumbs up. I really appreciate that. And if you want to see more behind the scenes here at the cottage, the things that I gather, uh, what I do with them, please think about subscribing to my channel and hitting the little notification bell and that will let you know when I upload new content so you don't miss anything. Uh, I hope you like all the items. I, I did get some cool stuff. I would love to hear what your favorite item is. So please remember to comment below and let me know. And uh, I am just gonna go ahead and get started and show you some of the cool things we found. So a couple things I got with fall in mind, and I know that's kind of a four letter word at this point, cause we haven't even hit summer yet, but fall is gonna be here before we know it, and I'm gonna start planning now so that I'm ready when it does get here. So I found these, uh, there's a couple of these little pumpkins. Uh, they're made to look like mercury glass. They're not real mercury glass, but that's okay. This one's a little bit light. Unfortunately, it had, there was another one exactly like this one. It was missing the little hand, um, stem up here. Uh, it actually had it, it was just broken off, and I thought, oh, I'll glue it. But when I got it up to the register, it actually had a hole in it, so I ended up having to leave it behind, which was sad. But these actually light up. I haven't tried to put battery in it, a battery in see if it works. Uh, I will do that at some point though, so hopefully it does. But I thought it was super cute, and this one was only $3, and I think this one was two. This one's actually heavier than this one, so which is weird because it's smaller. Um, I think it's just a little higher quality than this, but um, I thought they were both cute. I have a galvanized pumpkin in uh, my storage back here, and I thought these would be kind of cool with that more rustic galvanized metal and maybe some um, fall florals and that kind of thing to make a really pretty vignette. So we'll see what I come up with for these. So I grabbed those two. Then I grabbed this cute little pot. Uh, I love this green, I think it's really pretty. And it's got this really pretty dandelion kind of motif to it, kind of embossed in there. So I thought this was cute, so I grabbed it. I'm always on the lookout for little pots to go with my um, house plants here in the cottage. So, And this pitcher I thought was pretty. This is another piece that I uh, picked up kind of with fall in my brain, uh, just thinking, oranges and browns and this deep green like this would be really pretty together. Uh, this was made in Italy. Uh, it's just really pretty. I love the little um, leaf on the front of it. Uh, and I really like this green. And I swear if you would have told me like 10 years ago that I would like avocado green, I would have thought you were crazy. Uh, but it's kind of grown on me over the years. So um, I really do like it. <laughs> so I grabbed that. And then I found this piece uh, and if you've watched a few of my uh, hauls before you know I'm kind of a sucker for tarnished silver and I knew, know this is a vintage piece I particularly like the fact that this one's got little flowers in the silver um, and then the lid also has little flowers in it I thought that was just really pretty so I grabbed this uh, keep your coffee warm it's a little filthy definitely needs a bath but I'll take care of that um, and I don't know that I'm going to do anything with it other than just put it out and see uh, if it sells. If it doesn't, then I might think about painting the silver. We'll see. Uh, but anyway, I liked it, so I grabbed it. Put that down over there. Then uh, these pots, so I grabbed three of these. Uh, they are not really my style. They definitely remind me of kind of a Chinese or uh, Asian theme. Uh, look to them but I think with some paint I might be able to pretty them up some and uh, make them look a little bit more farmhouse <laughs> so we'll see for two dollars each though I thought it was worth the gamble my husband is the one who found them and there were like 12 or 13 of them on the shelf and 
he's like, don't you want to buy all of them? And I said, no, I have enough projects sitting around in my kitchen. It's pretty full at the moment. I'm really trying to work through some of it. So I didn't need to add too many more projects to that. So I only grabbed three. Hopefully I don't regret it and wish I would have grabbed more. So <laughs> we'll see. Anyway, I grabbed this little silver candlestick. I think my husband found this as well. Um, I love the detail on this. It's nice and heavy. This is an old party light piece. Uh, and I just, I really like it. And again, with this, with these pumpkins uh, and a galvanized metal pumpkin and maybe some other uh, metals or glass or something, I think would make a really pretty vignette. So that's kind of what's in my mind for that. And then I grabbed this copper bowl. It's not actually copper. It's just made to look like copper, I think. Uh, it was a little spendy. It was $6, but I like the look of it. I just thought it was pretty. I'm kind of a metal freak. I love all the different metal tones. Um, and I think this will be pretty with some a little bit of washing uh, and put it out. It was made in India, um, but I just thought it was pretty, so I grabbed it. And then I move these guys down. I grabbed this. It's like a little kindling holder to go next to your wood burning fireplace. Again, I just thought this was really pretty the way that it is. I like the metal kind of vintage tarnished look to it. Uh, so I'm not going to paint it. I'm just going to leave it the way it is. Uh, I just thought it was really pretty. Definitely needs a cleaning. Uh, so I'll do that. Uh, but other than that, uh, it's just going to go out on the floor the way that it is. This I was lucky enough to find as a half price item. So I was excited for that. So I think I only paid $3 for it. So I will look up some online, just get an idea of what they go for. Uh, and then I'll put this out on the floor. So thought it was cute. Then this little table. Now my goal here is to keep this a table. I really think that I can save its little life. It's got such good bones, uh, but the veneer on the top of this is just coming off really badly. Um, and I saw on a couple of YouTube videos where you can take a towel and lay it down and then take your hot iron and um, get that glue to reactivate so that it makes it peeling um, the veneer off a little easier. So I'm going to try that and watch another video. I can't remember if your uh, towel is supposed to be wet or if it's supposed to be dry. I will figure that out though and give it a shot. But I think once I get the veneer off of this and get it sanded, uh, if the wood is nice, I'll keep it wood. If it's not, I'll just paint it. Um, but anyway, I thought for $6, it is cute. It's a perfect height to have a little lamp and a book and next to your chair, your reading chair, whatever. So we'll see what I can do with it. So, uh, so there's that. And then the last thing is this thing. And my gosh, it's heavy. Oh. So it is what I'm assuming is to go on your fireplace mantle. Uh, it's just a cool piece. I was really excited to find it. And again, this was a half price item. So I think I only paid $5 for it. Um, but it's just, it's got this neat rope detail on the front. Uh, this metal um, is in, everything's in really good shape. It's super heavy. Uh, the clock, I don't know if it works yet or not. If it doesn't, I have guts that I can replace it with. So not a big deal, but I'm going to take it apart, paint this, um, paint the face of the clock, uh, whatever to match. And then I will figure out if I'm going to do something different with this metal piece, if I'm going to paint it black or brown or white or whatever. Depends on what I decide to do with the base of it. So we'll see. I will, usually with a piece like this, I'll just kind of stand back and stare at it for a while uh, until I figure out in my head what it wants to be. <laughs> so <laughs> sometimes it takes them a minute to tell me uh, how they want to look <laughs> in the end, but that's kind of my process. I just kind of stare and uh, drink coffee and uh, try and figure out how I want it to, to look when I'm done. So we'll see. have not figured this one out yet, but I will eventually, and I'm sure it will be in a future video. So stay tuned for that. Anyway, that's it, you guys. I really didn't find a whole heck of a lot, but that is good because, like I said, I have so much 
stuff sitting around in my kitchen that all needs attention. That's the whole reason it's still in here. Uh, so I've got projects galore. <laughs> so on Tuesday, you will see uh, another, uh, sorry about that, I had a customer come in. Anyway, I, as I was saying, on Tuesday, you will see another thrift flip and probably again on Friday, yet another thrift flip as I try to work through some of these projects that I have sitting around. So I hope you'll join me for those and I hope you have a great Memorial Day weekend. Uh, we're on our way out of town to go camping. So I'm, I'm looking forward to a few days in the woods to just kind of relax and I will see you back here on Tuesday. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.